Today we're going to go over three mistakes to avoid when you're building your Squarespace website, specifically your Squarespace commerce website or your Squarespace shop. So the three most common mistakes are not categorizing, not enabling express checkout when necessary, and not optimizing for search. So here I'm on my cousin's website. It's uh, an older website of hers and she's redoing it. So there's a ton of mistakes on here and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to share. So first things first, the very first mistake to avoid is not categorizing your products appropriately. So you can see here, she's actually got three stores and these are indicated by this little shopping cart here. So anytime you go to Squarespace, you select a page, you can see here that all of these little icons represent some kind of structure, uh, some kind of structure or layout. Now, what you want to do instead of having three stores is actually learn how to categorize your products. So what she's done is instead of breaking them into categories, she has three separate stores when really she should have one store with multiple categories. So here, for example, if I click on this particular store, you'll see there's a bunch of different hair products here. This is great. And what she could do is click on this product and if you go down to organization, you'll see there isn't a category here yet, but she should add one by hitting add and creating, you know, extension, however she wants to do it. You could add that here. Uh, and then now we know this product has an extension. So uh, you can also add tags. Now tags are really just for search. So in this case, a tag, a good tag example would be something like black. Um, or 18 inches or something about the actual product itself. Now, I'll disable that here just so it doesn't screw up anything. So that is number one, is creating categories and having one store with multiple categories, which will also allow you to organize. Uh, you can also do multiple variants. So say, for example, here she has a variation of 18 inches, but if she had another color or another length of hair, she could go ahead and just add another variant. So you can see here color, or she could change the length, and it would show up just like this. You can see here in this preview what that would look like, and it would require the customer to actually select a color before moving forward. So that's just kind of a nice little cover your butt situation. But again, one of the really common things that I see is just not categorize. You want to make sure to do that. The second common mistake is not enabling something called Express Checkout. So for most stores in Squarespace, you'll see that there is a shopping cart function and most buttons will say add to cart. And so people have to actually go to the cart, see what's in their cart and then go and check out, right? Now, if you wanna skip this step altogether and you have a product that is kind of a, a higher price product or typically people just buy sort of one thing at a time, then what you wanna do is go over to commerce, scroll down to checkout, and you'll see here, this is enabled for her, enable express checkout. Now what this does is it allows people to actually just ignore the, uh, the add to cart function. And when they go to checkout, they will literally just say, um, it'll just say purchase. So you can see, uh, instead of saying add to cart, this one says pre-order, but if I were to click it here, what's going to happen is it'll take me through the full checkout, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. We wanna take people immediately to payment and that just minimizes the resistance there. So definitely highly advise people Enable Express Checkout, it's a really good way to go, especially if you have uh, a higher price items and people are buying things one at a time. The last thing that I want people to pay attention to is optimizing for search. So one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is they don't optimize their products for search. And that's a big missed opportunity. So if you look here, we've got this AB Matte Black Toolkit. Great. What does that mean? Well, you're going to go to that product. And actually, before we go to that product, we want to go to this page. So let's go to the store. You can see this store says AB Hair Tools. If I go to this sub tab SEO, it'll show you what it looks like in Google. Here's what it looks like. Store to Ariella Brook uh, Co. This doesn't really mean anything to Google. So what you want to do is create a custom SEO title 
and a custom SEO description. So say for example, Michelle's favorite hair tools and then the best hair tools in Island Park. Get them here, right? Something, something that's less generic. So you want to optimize this. Now this is the SEO for that particular store, but going a little bit further, you can actually optimize the SEO for each product. So you go here over to edit, you can go to marketing and you'll see what SEO and you are in the actual direct URL looks like, which is this little section here. So if you click on edit, you can see there's just like this default, you know, random um, keyword here for the actual URL. You want to optimize that with as much detail as possible. So say, for example, I say, um, hair kit black scale, however you want to do this, right? Oh, I definitely spelled that wrong. But you do want to get specific on what the actual product is and put it in the URL. You'll just be using dashes as spaces here. And then same sort of rules apply when it comes to the SEO title and the description. Uh, favorite black hair tool. Um, and then you could put something here in the description just to customize this particular toolkit, you know, 25 piece hair kit, whatever you want to say here, but you just want to get specific because this is a search function. This is really what Google is scanning. So you want to hit apply when you're done and that will automatically save. And it's just so much better than leaving the generic uh, terms there. Something else you can do, kind of like a little bonus, you see the social share. Um, th the SEO description that you create will show up here and it'll pull automatically that uh, that uh, product shot. So once you update the the SEO URL, it'll update here as well. So if you were to, to promote this on Facebook or on LinkedIn or something, it'll have that updated SEO uh, phrasing there. So those are the three mistakes to avoid, not categorizing, not enabling express checkout, and not optimizing for search. If you have any questions at all uh, with building your Squarespace website, please feel free to leave a comment below. You can grab my Squarespace checklist as well, and I am happy to help. Thanks so much for watching.